Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Anime Ramble. Today I got for you Hunter's Guild Chapter 7. What is going on? Well, the end of Chapter 6 left us off with Valu and his resolve to take the Hunter's Exam. They finally show up there, him, Ty, Mai, Grim, they're all there, uh, and they're about to embark on this journey. Now, everything I knew and thought was a lie. I don't even know what to think with the last bit of development we got at the very end of this chapter. This is going to be a rather short discussion, only because there's, a, there, there's really not that much to talk about. It's a lot in the sense of being an actual training arc for Valu, but it's going to take place over a three month journey back to the main Hunter's Guild facility. And if they get there and they survive everything that the conductor has for them, then they will be taken seriously as, as a hunter in the eyes of the guild. Now the person giving us all of this info is none other than the conductor of the mobile hunter candidate camp fortress known as the Ironworks number 21. What happened to the first 20? I don't know. But you have the conductor of the mobile unit, Miss Dibonair Diamond. I don't know if that's how you say her name or not. We're just going to call her Debo for short or Miss Diamond if you're nasty. Regardless, she is the captain of this vessel. She commands it with an iron fist. And I think unsurprising to everybody, the um, the siblings, Ty and Mai, they decide in this chapter that they're going to accompany Valu and take the hunter's exams again. They're not the only ones. There's this other dude that's there that's talking shit that's also there to take the exam again for whatever time it is for him the problem is, is that he's talking shit about the siblings coming back to take it again because they failed it the first time but yet here he is on the umpteenth time going to take it again yet he's talking a lot of shit then of course you have this old dude that's there and his whole reason for being there at the age that he is is that he wants to get revenge on the werewolves that killed his entire family on some demon slayer tanjiro type shit but he's like pushing 80 plus and I, I see the parallels between Valu and this old man because I think it's actually made by Valu. You know, he's having his internal dialogue that this could have been him given the age. Like, it didn't matter what age it happened at. Valu could have been 70 plus in the Hamlet. And if werewolves ran up in that bitch, well, he's going to be taking that hunter's exam much like this old dude is now. There's only one rule in the mobile unit, and that's when they get moving, they aren't going back. So if you want to quit... You can, but you'll have to roll yourself back to shore. And then we get this whole training montage thing going on. The old man, he drops out of the boat. He's out on, on his way. Valu seeing this only makes him go harder than before because his resolve is stronger and more clear than ever after seeing the old man leave, right? He wanted to be there, but it was just way too much for him to handle. So then you flash forward, you get to the end of the chapter, and this really got me, y'all. Like, let me tell you. When I get into a series, I can honestly say I missed some shit, okay? I had to go back in hindsight and reread because I, I clearly missed something. We can clearly see at this point, Valu in his entire life seems to be on some Ichigo plotline and his entire existence isn't his own. I had made the comparison between the Alpha Wolf and the Captain from Bleach. I said back then I did not see this series mirroring Bleach at all because I didn't, but now I kind of do, all right? It's just two things, but the really big things. I mean, that revelation of Ichigo's that Aizen gave him was massive. It's still one of the biggest plot points of any anime series, right? Your life was not your own. I, can, I, I thought of even your conception. I put your parents together just for you, just so I could have a challenge in the future. And what do we have the Alpha Wolf here doing? The exact same thing, essentially, right? His whole reasoning for not killing Valu was, nah, I want you to be stronger for when I eat you. Well, he's not gonna grow bigger. You're a fucking three-story tall building. He's not going to satisfy your hunger. What do you really want from this man? I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Ramble, what are you talking about? All right, this doesn't make any sense. You're right. None of this makes any sense. Well, please explain to me what the mayor is doing because that's really the question that needs to be answered because I was just talking shit last chapter about the whole Bleach reference, but here we go. We got the Ichigo plotline being laid out for us right here and now. It's unfolding as if it is like that. So the mayor pops up at the end with the two retainers that we had met previously. And the words that they say in regard to Valu and whether or not he's going to be able to live up to the quote unquote expectations that they seem to have for him, it brings into a lot of questions. So for whatever reason, they look at him as, as, as a stand-in or maybe they are really after Grimm. I don't know what they're trying to pursue. I'm just going to go on a limb and save Valu. 
Regardless of that, he still has something riding on him to get done. And the fact that at the end of this chapter is them following the Ironworks facility to the Hunter's Guilds facility. Are they just trying to get onto the base? Are they trying to get onto the premise? How? Well, I mean, I just don't know what the facility looks like. I, I tell you all the time, I don't read through this ahead. So whatever chapter I'm releasing is where I stop at and I don't peek. I don't know what the facility looks like, but was this a ploy just to get access to the grounds you get what i'm saying like they needed the gates to be open to the hunters guild because the defense might just be that impenetrable okay blackbeard when he wanted to get into impel down he couldn't just walk in there he needed to have an incident that occurred for the gates to be open for him to gain access to that did they purposely attack a small remote village in order to give the presence of a werewolf attack in order for them to have an excuse to call the hunters guild in order for them to send grim specifically i i don't see that being the case because the alpha looked genuinely surprised when he saw grim for the first time but at this point in the series i have been lied to time and time again so i'm just gonna assume that was a fucking lie so it's entirely possible they might be after grim could they have known they were gonna send grim is the question that's a really big question because who would they have gotten that information from I'm gonna let y'all speculate on that. The last thing I have to dig into is the mayor and his bitch ass. Going back to page one, chapter six. The mayor in the flashback, in the dream that Valu was having said, yes, from now on, you will be the one to dot, dot, dot. This is of course coming off the heels of Valu chopping wood with the Wolfonium ax and the mayor saying, you got a knack for this. Is there some special requirement to use Wolfanium? I don't know, possibly? Or the mayor and all of the werewolves killed Valu's parents to get to Valu and are choosing to raise him as some child of prophecy that is going to allow for the werewolves to be free of the human curse. Is it possible that Valu is a hybrid? Have y'all seen the movie Underworld? Y'all know that whole movie Underworld? Uh, Underworld, Underworld, like what, Evolution, Underworld, Rise of a Lycan, I don't care about the other ones. Underworld, Rise of a Lycan, it's not an anime, but it's a series about werewolves, it's a series about vampires, and a werewolf-vampire hybrid. Now, we haven't seen vampires in this series, but in all of my expertise as a connoisseur of film, if you have werewolves, then you have vampires. It's, it's as clear as day in. The mayor, being married to a werewolf, is a werewolf by association. This series is turning out to be a firecracker of emotions but that's the end of the chapter if you made it to the end thank you if you are new go plus ultra smash that subscribe button lets me know you rock with the content that i put out on the channel like the video if you like the video dislike the video if you dislike the video comment on the video your thoughts about what you think is going on how you think this is going to go drop a like if you think the mayor is a hoe and drop a comment if you want Valu to smash his face in so that's all i got subscribe if you're brand new and like always until next time i'm out